How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today we're going to talk about iPhone and iPad battery calibration and why you should start doing it right now. So think of iPhone and iPad battery calibration as resetting your battery. Uh, just like we reset our phones or computers every now and then to get better performance and to keep it clean and fresh, we need to reset our batteries as well. So we need to calibrate our batteries as well. And the benefits are actually huge. For example, we're gonna get much more accurate battery percentage readings. So that battery percentage number that we see at the top right hand corner of our iPhone or of our iPads are going to be actually much more accurate. And not only that, but this process will also help you with battery drain. So it will slow down battery drain. And like that's not enough, uh, it gets even better. So it will also help you with lifespan. It will actually give you a longer lifespan on your battery as well. So that will make it last longer throughout the years. So this is truly amazing. It's actually very simple and uh, you need to start doing it right now. So let me show you step by step how you can actually calibrate your battery. Let's go. But before we continue, how often should you calibrate your battery? Well, the recommendation is between one and three months. I do it every two months. It's right there in between. That's the sweet spot. That's what I recommend from my experience. Uh, so there's no point doing it all the time, like every month or every week. And of course, you shouldn't wait and do it like every year. There's no point. So every two months, that's how often you should do this process. So now let's finally begin. So first thing you need to do is, of course, get your iPhone, get your iPad, so get your iDevice, okay, and just drain the battery. Just drain it to 0%, okay? You have to use it until you can't use it anymore. If you're having a hard time doing it, uh, make sure to turn on the flashlight, turn on the speakers, do whatever you want, turn up the brightness to 100%, do whatever you can to actually just just kill the battery okay after you do that and that's the annoying part you have to leave it like that turn off completely dead for five to eight hours so you can leave it overnight so leave it overnight unplugged because we need to drain as much battery as we can because we're doing the calibration so we need to really like reset the whole thing so leave it unplugged draining the battery for five to eight hours all right and after that's done then you can finally plug it in and start charging your phone. One important thing is use authentic accessories. So use the authentic power brick and the authentic uh, cable. Use the accessories that come in the box. Don't go ahead and use fake um, knockoffs or anything like that. It's not gonna be good for you and the process won't work. So make sure to use authentic accessories. At this point, your iPhone is gonna start turning on. So it's going to take a few minutes and your iPhone is actually going to boot up automatically to the lock screen like mine is right here. At this point, you're going to need to turn it back off. Okay, you need to charge it while it is turned off. In order to do that, if you have an older iPhone, so from the iPhone 6 and older, uh, all you have to do is turn on the power button and then slide to power off. If you're using a slightly newer iPhone, so from the iPhone 7 and newer, all you have to do is power it, hold the power button and the volume down button. Okay, so both at the same time. And then as soon as you see uh, the slide to power off, you're gonna slide to power off. So then you're gonna have your iPhone charged. Okay, it's gonna be charged. Make sure to leave it on the wall, charging on the wall normally while it is turned off. Okay, this is very, very important. So now that you have it like that, you're gonna leave it sitting there, charging, turning, turned off for again, five to eight hours. So the best thing you can do is really uh, leave it draining for eight hours and leave it charging to eight hours, okay? So you're gonna have this full calibration process being done the correct way. So after those eight hours, hours of charging, then you can normally turn on your phone, so just uh, press and hold the power button, the side button, and then it's gonna turn it back on like that, okay? So turn it on automatically. And then we have this final step, which uh, we shouldn't just yet unplug it because we're gonna need to force restart it. So after doing this whole thing of draining and charging and everything like that, you're gonna need to restart it, okay? So in order to do that, uh, again, it's gonna depend on your iPhone model. If you have an iPhone 6S, 
or older, uh, all you have to do is actually press and hold the power button and the home button. So press and hold both those buttons at the same time until you see the Apple logo, then you can let go. Uh, if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, um, all you're going to have to do is actually uh, press and hold the power button and the volume down button. So press and hold both those buttons at the same time. Keep pressing, keep pressing until it turns off and back on. And if you have an iPhone 8 or newer, uh, you're going to do it as I'm going to do it like this. So the phone is turned on. So it's going to be volume up, volume down press and hold the power button. So then keep holding, just keep holding it like that. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. And then you're gonna see it turn off. Wait a few seconds, it's gonna turn back on. And as soon as it turns back on with the Apple logo, you can let go. This is called the force restart. And then as I said, it varies a little bit depending on your device, but you can follow just as I did. After your iPhone turns back on like this, you can simply unplug it and the calibration process has finished. So now after the force restart, you can unplug the cable only then. Okay, so just recap so you guys don't forget anything, just so I can run down very quickly with you the whole process all over again. First, you're gonna drain your iPhone or iPad battery to zero, so to zero percent until it turns off. After it's turned off, uh, you're gonna leave it unplugged from five to eight hours. What I recommend is eight hours, so you can leave it overnight, just draining the rest of the battery it still has there, okay? After that's completely dead, so after those eight hours, then you can plug your iPhone in again using authentic Apple accessories, okay? So as soon as you plug it in to the wall, all right, plug it in, your iPhone is gonna turn on after a few minutes. As soon as it turns on, you're gonna turn it off. So normally like hold the power button and turn it off, just like I showed you a couple minutes ago. And as soon as it's completely off again, wait five to eight hours, but this time connect it to the charger. So connect it to the wall from five to eight hours. Then your iPhone battery is gonna go to 100% and like more. So it's gonna get as much juice as it can to do that calibration process. After that's at 100%, you're gonna turn it back on by holding the power button and then it's gonna turn on still leave the cable plugged in okay and as soon as it's turned on at 100 percent after those eight hours we're gonna force restart it doing the process depending if you have an iphone 6 7 or a newer iphone and then after you force restart it that it, turn, that it turns off and then back on then you can actually unplug your iPhone because the calibration process has finished. Uh, as you just saw, I, I put it on the screen every single step so you don't forget. And I'm also gonna leave it in the description down below just to make sure that you see the whole thing step by step. It's not harmful or anything if you do it wrong. No, it's not harmful at all. It's just because the point here is doing it exactly as you should so you don't waste your time because it's a really time demanding process. So that's pretty much it. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below, the comment box down below as well. I really do appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to be back in a few days as always. See you later, guys. Bye bye.